Rectangle X measures 7 cm by x plus 1 cm. Rectangle Y has dimensions of 3x plus 6 cm and 4 cm. The area of rectangle X is half the area of rectangle Y. Calculate the length of the sides of the rectangles and hence their areas. Okay, we should begin this with a diagram. So there is rectangle X, which says it's X plus 1 and 7. And here is rectangle Y, not to scale, remember. This is 3x plus 6 centimetres, and this is 4 centimetres. Now, the area of this one is 7 times x plus 1. And if you expand that, you get 7x plus 7. And the area of this one is 4 times 3x plus 6. And if you expand that, you're going to get 12x plus 24. Now it says here that the area of X is half the area of Y. Therefore, the area of rectangle X is half the area of rectangle Y, very important. Therefore, 7X plus 7, which is the area of rectangle X, is going to be a half times the area of this one, which is 12X plus 24. That's 7X plus 7, this is quite easy, half times 12 is 6X, and half times 24 is 12, just carrying on. Now normally we look for the smaller of the two between 7x and 6x, so the smaller one is 6x, so we do the opposite thing and take 6x from both sides, so if we take 6x from here we're just going to get x plus 7, if we take 6x from here we're just going to get 12, and then we're going to add minus 7 from both sides, so we're going to get that x is equal to 5. Going back to the uh, rectangles again, we wouldn't normally draw them out again. So this is going to be 5 plus 1, which is 6 centimetres, and this one's going to be 3 times 5 plus 6, which is 21 centimetres. Therefore, the area of rectangle X is 6 times 7, which is 42 centimetres squared, and the area of rectangle Y is going to be 21 times 4, which is 84 centimeters squared. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to form and solve equations using shapes. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.